how to have a revival right where you are. I like what it says in Psalm 138 and verse 7, Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Though thou stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me, the Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thy hands. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. You know what? You can have a revival right where you are. Right where you're at today, you can have a personal revival because you have the Spirit of the Lord living within you. You see, many people today are looking for a place to go to have revival. But I believe that if you have the Spirit of the Lord in you, you can be the revival. You are the revival. You are the revival right where you are. I like what happened to the Apostle Paul and the account which we have in Acts chapter 14. It says that they had stoned Paul and then they drew him out of the city, supposing that he had been dead. Here was the Sunday night guest preacher being stoned by his hearers and then they drove him out. They drew him out of the city, supposing or rather taking him for dead. Verse 20 of Acts chapter 14 says, How be it, as the disciples stood round about him, he rose up. Oh, I like that. He rose up. They thought he was dead, but he rose back up. Whoa, that would make a good message, wouldn't it? They thought he was dead, but he rose back up. You know what? If, you, if they think you are dead, you, my friend, can rise back up. Though you are dead, you can rise back up. Though your dreams are dead, though your vision has died, though your faith has wallowed low, yet if you have the Spirit of God in you, you can rise back up. And it says that Paul went to the city and he began to confirm the souls of the disciples and exhorted them to continue in the faith. Is that absolutely fantastic? He was a man, they thought he was dead, but he gets back up on his feet and he goes right to church and he begins to exhort those to continue in the faith. Oh, we need that kind of spirit today. We need men and women with that kind of spirit. Men and women which won't complain, but men and women which will use their faith and move forward in God and lift others up when they are down. Men and women who will be the encouragement when they themselves need the encouraging. Men and women who will lift others up when they themselves feel as if they're the ones that need a lifting up. That is the spirit of faith. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. God is going to revive you today. God is going to give you his spirit without measure so that you can be the revival. No matter what hits you, what breaks you, what snaps you, what gets you down, what overcomes you, what tries to belittle you. God has given you a spirit of faith and a spirit of faith is a spirit of revival to get up and go and do what you've never done, to see what you've never seen, to become the dream that other people are looking for, to become the visionary that God wants, to become the power of God in your neighborhood, in your society. I like what it says in Psalm 86 verse 4, who passing through the valley of Baca. The valley of Baca is an experience everybody passes through. But you know what? We pass through the valley of Baca. You see, the valley of Baca represents failure and disappointment. But you know what to do? When you're in a valley of disappointment and it will come to you, you can have that bounce back ability. That spirit that will make life come out of the death. That spirit which gives you power over circumstances, power over devils, power of disappointment. Who who walking through, who passing through the valley of Baca. The valley of Baca is but an experience, but God will give you victory in Baca. When everybody else thinks you're dead, God says you can live. This is Paul Thomas speaking on behalf of Image Breakers with your two-minute power chat to lift you up from where you are to where you ought to be. God bless you and have a great day.